name is Mike Oliver, maintenance manager at Column Transit System. Um, I'm going to be the project manager should we be awarded the grant that I will be speaking to. The title of the grant is the uh, replacement of three um, fixed route buses with heavy duty coaches. Um, and so I'll get right to it. Uh, the scope of the project will allow Clallam Transit to replace three fixed route buses used to provide service to communities, including the city of Squim, Jamestown, Clallam Tribe, the city of Forks, Lower Elwha, Clallam Tribe, uh, Macaw Tribe, Nia Bay, Quillu Tribe. These clean diesel buses will continue to support CTS's effort to reduce emissions by retiring older, higher polluting buses and allow for better, more reliable, more com comfortable um, service uh, to lifeline routes in the CTS service area. Um, the need is uh, the project will enable CTS to reply three light duty buses, uh, to replace three light duty buses um, that have outlived their useful life with three heavy duty clean diesel 29 foot coaches. Uh, these buses will be more appropriate for the areas served, providing greater passenger comfort, lower emissions, improved reliability. Um, the heavy duty buses will be more durable and will be better suited to withstand the rugged road network in network, uh, Northwest Washington, specifically Clallam County as well um, as withstand the demands of the high mileage bus routes. These vehicles replaced our 2012 body on chassis Chevy R-Box, which will likely far exceed more than 200,000 miles each prior to their replacement. Coordination efforts, this project is consistent with the planning process for local priorities. The project is incorporated in the Clallam Transit System uh, Transit Development Plan. 2019 to 2024, which has been approved by the Clallam System Board and submitted to the Washington State Department of Transportation. The project is contained in the CTS Capital Replacement Program, the Washington State Transportation Improvement Plan, or STIP, and the CTS Transit Asset Management Plan. The project is strongly supported with both local and regional uh, representation. The project was originally submitted as a six bus replacement requesting 5339 funds earlier in 2020. The CTS received a 50% scaled back award notification by a watchdog on that previous application. We are submitting this request through the 2021-2023 consolidated program to make the 50% award whole to maintain our capital replacement plan. Discussion with PRTPO has included their concurrence with amending the 2020 State Transportation Improvement Plan step uh, to reflect. Second attempt at funding the remaining need. STIP Project Washington or WA-12691 will be amended to reflect the 50% award and this project will be created within the STIP after we receive notification of the award, fingers crossed. Hopefully early 2021, after the application review and ranking process is uh, completed, that's currently underway. Efficiencies, these clean diesels will continue to support CTS's effort to reduce emissions by retiring older, higher polluting buses and replacing with the lowest diesel emission buses compliant with the latest regulations. The heavy duty buses will also allow for better, more reliable, and more comfortable service to lifeline routes in the CTS service area. The buses will also provide increased capacity for communities who rely on public transit as a lifeline to essential services and provide better value over the vehicle life cycle. The vehicles designated for replacement by this grant request have exceeded their ULB as of 2020. UB, ULB is the useful life benchmark that we've set. These buses have proven inadequate for service uh, for the service area with comfort complaints due to suspension issues and resulting ergonomic complaints and back injuries. Uh, that includes operators, majority of those, um, that drive majority of those buses. Uh, they just don't have the suspension needed to handle the back roads in the Cologne County areas. The lack of readily available repair parts has also become an issue in keeping the vehicles in service. The limited range of these vehicles have also proven, has also proven uh, problematic. Delivery of the replace, delivery of replacement buses, depending on the bus manufacturer selected, can be up to two years. It is anticipated based on the average miles driven per day, 32,000, um, or per year, I'm sorry, 32,000 miles, 
the ULB of 220,000 miles will be exceeded by the time of this replacement. Replacement of this aged fleet demonstrates reduction in maintenance costs, creates an improved state of good repair and improves dependability. I wanna talk about state of good repair just off of the sheet here for a minute. State of good repair is the status of our fleet and every agency in, in, um, in the region must declare state of good repair as part of their asset management plan. We have a goal of 90%. If we get these last three buses replaced, that would put us at about 92, which is a, is a really good number. Um, other modes of transportation, Clallam County includes the cities of Port Angeles, Squim and Forks with several smaller rural communities. The service area includes the Jamestown Clallam Tribe, Elwha Tribe, Macaw Indian Nation and Quileut Nation reservations. CTS provides service connections to Jefferson, Kitsap and Kitsap County and provides regional transit service to the Bainbridge Island Ferry Terminal providing customers public transportation access to Seattle and beyond. CTS also provides connections to the Coho Ferry, which provides service to Victoria, British Columbia. This project supports ec economic vitality by serving rural areas in need and will be supporting the Routes Initiative, which addresses disparities in rural transportation infrastructure. Port Angeles, Squim, and, the, and Forks, and the Port of Port Angeles um, will also be included in those. The investment of new higher capacity cleaner buses in these areas will enhance public transportation services provided throughout these communities. These buses will service routes that provide critical transportation services to poor tribal, tribal communities, providing access to residents these rural, in these rural communities to employment, medical, and shopping opportunities that would otherwise not be available. I have to stress that not be available. The project provides services through the Emerald Coast Opportunity Zone Partnership, which includes the Jamestown, Clallam Tribe, Quillia Tribes, and the rest of the tribes in Clallam County. The Clallam County Economic Development Corporation, the cities of Port Angeles, Forks, and Squim. And that's my presentation. I hope you'll support us. Thank you.